Hi, I'm Kim. Now, this is a really controversial question in quilting and you'll see it comes up in groups so many times in all the quilting groups. And that question is, should I pre-wash my quilting cotton? And I'm going to answer this for you. But before I answer this for you, I'm just going to backtrack slightly. Just bear with me a moment because this is important. When you are buying fabric for dressmaking, so let's just say you make your own clothes. We buy our fabric in generally two to three meter lengths and we want to pre-wash it because all fabric has a natural shrinkage point. It depends on the fabric as to how much that is, but you can estimate somewhere around five to 10%, just as an averagely across all fabric. Uh, fabric sorry my voice going so if we are buying fabric for making our own clothes we want to have got any of the shrinkage out of the way before we start measuring it according to to, to fit our bodies so we definitely do want to pre-wash fabrics when we are making clothes however when we are quilting my advice is we don't need to pre-wash at all and my reason is a couple of fold. So firstly, when we buy quilting fabric, we buy it in smaller pieces. So you might you might buy a 10 centimetre strip or like this piece here, it's 25 centimetres off the bolts there. So we're going to buy smaller pieces of fabric. You might be buying fat quarters as well. And if you start putting those through the wash, they are going to distort. They're going to fray around the edges and so on and get a lot of rough and tumble th through going through the wash. And we really don't want that before we've started um, piecing them and, and cutting them up and sewing them back together again as part of our patchwork. So that's the first reason, because I don't want them to, to, to distort or madly fray. The second reason is that when we put them through the wash, we make all that fabric really soft. So the washing process um, softens all the fibres. And yes, absolutely, we want that when it's finished. But when we are cutting it up for patchwork and when we are wanting to sew our patchwork pieces together and we want those crisp seams and those crisp points, we actually want the crispness to maintain in the fabric. So that's the second reason I don't pre-wash any of my fabric for quilting. And the third thing is, is that when we have, when we make an entire quilt, we've got um, lots of different types of fabrics. You might have them from the same brand or you might have them across different brands. They're all gonna have a very slightly different shrinkage rate. We've got our wadding and we've got our backing fabric as well. Um, we've got our threads <laughs> as well, that's an, another aspect. So when we have finished making our quilt, so we've done all our piecing, so we've made our patchwork top, we've laid up into a quilt sandwich, we've quilted that all together, we've put our binding round. At that point, if you put it through your machine to wash and you wash that, then you soften everything up and you do get this just slight shrinkage, which may, gives it that snuggly finish look. Certainly for a bed quilt or a lap quilt, you want that sort of snuggliness. If you're making things like table mats, you really won't notice the difference because it's too small. So, you know, I want all that softness at the end and I want everything to shrink at pretty much the same rate in the same proportion uh, from where I started when I bought the fabric and the wadding in the first place. So hope that has helped. It is a controversial question. There are plenty of people out there who say the complete opposite to me. I will leave you to make your own decision, but those are my reasons for why I would never pre-wash my quilting cottons. So hope that helps you. If you have found this video helpful, please do hit the like button below because that helps um, YouTube to show the video to more people. And do consider subscribing to the channel because then you'll get to know uh, when I have released more videos, which I do on a weekly basis. So I hope that's helped you and I will see you next time. Or do put a comment below to say what you've decided. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.